Lewis Yabo, born 28 December 1955, is a Chinese literary critic, writer, professor, and human rights activist who called for political reforms and the end of communist one party rule in the People's Republic of China. He is currently incarcerated as a political prisoner in the People's Republic of China. He was formally arrested on the 23rd June 2009 on suspicion of inciting subversion of state power. He was tried on the same charges on 23rd December 2009 and sentenced to 11 years imprisonment and two years deprivation of political rights on 25th December 2009. During his fourth prison term, he was awarded the 2010 Nobel Peace Prize for his long and non-violent struggle for fundamental human rights in China. He is the first Chinese citizen to be awarded a Nobel Prize of any kind while residing in China. Liu is also the first person since Ozetsky to be denied the right to have a representative collect the Nobel Prize for him. Today, I'd be reciting some of the poems of Liu Xiaobo published by PEN America in the United States. One letter is enough for Zia. One letter is enough for me to transcend and face you to speak. As the wind blows past, the night uses its own blood to write a secret verse that reminds me each word is the last word. The ice in your body melts into a myth of fire. In the eyes of the executioner, fury turns to stone. Two sets of iron rails unexpectedly overlap. Moths flap towards lamp, light, an eternal sign that traces your shadow. Longing to escape for my wife. Abandon the imagined martyrs. I long to lie at your feet. Besides being tied to death, this is my one duty. When the hearts mirror clear and enduring happiness. Your toes will not break. A cat closes in behind you, I want to shoo him away as he turns his head, extends a sharp claw towards me. Deep within his blue eyes, there seems to be a prison. If I blindly step out of with even the slightest step, I would turn into a fish. A small rat in prison. This poem is for little Zia. A small rat passes through the iron bars, paces back and forth on the window ledge. The peeling walls are watching him. The blood-filled mosquitoes are watching him. He even draws the moon from the sky. Silver shadow casts down beauty as if in flight. A very gentry man, the rat tonight, doesn't eat, nor drink, nor grind his teeth. As he stares with his sly bright eyes, strolling in the moonlight. 